Praise the Lord, my dear friends, as we enter in the beautiful year of 2020. Maybe your hearts and minds may be wondering what this year is going to be. As I was praying and reflecting, the Lord gave me this beautiful words. How great are his signs! How mighty his wonders! His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and his dominion induced through all generation. Yes, Daniel chapter 3 verse 100. My dear friends, as I was praying today morning and reflecting about this year, how the year will be, the simple message the Lord gave it to me was given to me in Daniel chapter 4 verse 14 verse 22 and again it is repeated in 5th chapter verse 23. Again and again the, the beautiful word is given that all who live may know that the Most High rules over the kingdom of men and he can give it to whom he will or set over it to the lowliest of men. My dear friends, this year is going to be a glorious year, a year of glory and honor for God's children. Yes, in Daniel chapter 4, we read the chapter which God gave it to me today morning. A king called Nebuchadnezzar, he lived in glory. But one day he had a dream. The dream troubled him. It was a very big tree, a beautiful tree, a tall tree full of fruits. But suddenly a voice was heard. That's what we read in Daniel chapter 4 verse 11. Cut down this tree. And then when the tree was cut down, everything got destroyed. The fruits, the flowers, the birds, everything, the nests. And then this great man had the dream and in the dream he was driven out. The tree is cut, only the stump is there and this man is going around eating leaves and roaming there and after seven years stump once again leaves. The tree once again begins to grow. When the tree was cut down, everything is gone. The mist is falling. The king got surprised. What is this? Shocked. God's servant Daniel came and said, This is about you, king. Only the servant of God. Who knows that his life is nourished by God, not by human beings. They will honor every human being. But they will not bow down before them and do the things which God doesn't want them to do. Daniel said, King, this is about you. God has blessed you. Whatever God has given to you has a purpose behind it. Know the purpose of God and live for the purpose. Don't hold on to what you have received and think that is your life. What you have received is today, tomorrow it may not be. But the one who has given it to you, he lives forever. Hold on to him. Celebrate your life with him. Your life will live forever. The king said, it is a great message. Daniel said, you are that tree. You will be cut down if you don't glorify God. The stump is left out for seven years. That means the mist is falling in that. That means you will be driven out. You will be like an animal. Eating the grass, mist will fall on you. But God will not leave you. His mercy will not leave you. After seven years, you will come to your sense. And when you recognize the Most High God, God will bring you back to the kingdom. And He will be glorified. Yes, exactly happened. Nebuchadnezzar, was so happy and he honored Daniel but then he forgot the meaning of the dream and the Bible says 24th verse of Daniel chapter 4 
after almost one year after one year one day that nebuchadnezzar went to his palace and saw all oh, this palace i built he was glorifying himself and he did not honor the lord he never recognized these are god's gift given to me for a purpose and that is the moment he was thrown away he lost his sense he behaved like an animal he behaved like a beast and he was living for 7 years as daniel predicted one day after 7 years he came to his senses and then he cried like a child returned back and by the mercy of god he lived a glorious life honoring god and it is there he communicated that the lord's kingdom dominion is everlasting his kingdom endures forever through all generations yes my dear friends the same thing we read in chapter 5 after so many years of experience the king lived by knowing the glory of god but he did not communicate to his children son today the greatest message god gives to us is parents you know who god is please communicate to your children your children may be highly educated your children may be earning more than you but nothing can replace the experience you got in the lord more than giving to your children give god to them give honor to them train them what is the meaning of walking with the god nebuchadnezzar had a very terrible experience in life driven away for 7 years but he did not communicate to his son his son became the king and he brought gold vessels from the temple and he was pouring wine he was drinking and eating called all his friends he thought that is life god sent a human hand without the body there was a wall and in that it began to write mene tekil peris king got perplexed he was very depressed what is this there is no human body only hand is there and writing like this he called all the magicians the bible says nobody could help him he was terrified he may be the king but in life whatever you have from the world cannot satisfy cannot lead you until you are guided by the lord and the queen comes and tells balthasar the son of the king nebuchadnezzar don't get afraid there is a man filled with the spirit of god and he will reveal to you what the meaning of this and daniel was brought in the king says i will give you gold chain explain what is the meaning a man who lives with the spirit of god he will not be simply bowed down to the pleasures or the blessings of the earth so daniel said in verse 17 chapter 5 keep your gold with you or give it to somebody but as a servant of god i will explain to you my dear children of god when you grow into the lord this year be aware when you grow into the lord the enemy is not going to keep quiet he will come and attack you with the blessings of the world he will try to grab away steal away what you have received from heaven be carefully keep alive what you have received from god what you are in god it is that alone at the end of the day will remain with you nothing else and daniel knew it and he said to the king keep it with you but i will explain to you he explains the meaning of these words are like this mene means your days are numbered he did not get afraid to explain mene means your days are numbered maybe this year maybe the second coming of the lord we do not know but the lord is telling 2020 all my children be alert no your days are numbered how many days you are going to live you do not know second he says the scale god puts you on the scale 
and he is checking you how much of heaven he is ruling you or how much of the earth he is pulling you down and god said to the king balthasar through daniel you are a man of the earth you never honored god so the earth is saying come you are ready the hell is telling you you are ready yes your kingdom is going to be divided and other kings are going to rule over you when balthasar heard it i'm sure he was disturbed he was sad as he promised he brought the gold chain and gave to daniel but he did not return to god like his father and so that night itself he was murdered my dear friends your life is a gift of god what you are making of your life is what you give it to god your life don't play around the world 2020 says it's an year and year to be alert and year to enter into the presence of god and year to be filled with the power of god that you can stand high even in front of the kings and queens and rulers you need not be afraid if you are moving with the power of god the world will be after you the kings will be after you the rulers will be after you yes nobody can touch you you will be glorified and god is calling you it's an year of blessing in a year of invitation to belong to him it's an year of challenge if you don't belong to him your end is near may god bless us and lead us with in this beautiful great year of 2020 let's pray i pray lord for all those who hear this word be blessed may their families be blessed may all that they do be blessed this year become an year of blessing and honor for them thank you lord and this blessing may it be available to them as you have revealed to me for those who cling to you they will be given your heavenly knowledge i pray lord may all those who are listening to me they all train their minds and hearts and they belong to you they hunger for you and possess knowledge and wisdom which comes from your heaven and may they stand before the kings and queens may they powerfully become your witness to this broken world that the kings and queens may know that the children of god the christians are the community of people who knew the living god who belong to the heaven they are the answer for all of our problems when the world is disturbed lord raise up your people to stand up and proclaim you and show your power and glory lord at the same time i pray lord let not all those who hear your word be drowned in the world like king balthasar and your word should not tell us you are wanted the heavenly power is waiting for you but you have thrown away your life for hell that should not happen lord help us to be alert and to possess you and to shine as your star in this dark world bless all of them bless all of us in jesus mighty name i pray amen may almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit amen have a wonderful prosperous year 2020 god bless you